Hi there, uh, this is Mickey Dean Ween from the band Ween. Um, I got an email from somebody asking me how to play Ween's song Freedom of 76 from our Chocolate and Cheese album. Um, it's probably the song I get the most inquiries about um, how to play this and uh, Mutilated Lips from the, from the Mollusk record. Um, it's an interesting song and it's unique among Ween songs in that it uh, was our first song where we used uh, a lot of major seventh and minor seventh chords that were shown to me by my friend Ed Wilson. Um, they're not chords you would normally associate with uh, rock and roll music, more jazz you would think of with these chords, but uh, it's a really cool song. It's one of my favorite songs to play live. Um, and um, I'm using my 1966 Fender Jazzmaster here. I record, uh, used when we recorded this song. It's got a big wide neck and it's got the right sound for this guitar. Anyway, what we have here is the song is in the key of E major. And our first chord is an E major 7th. And uh, what you do is you make a little E bar chord down here. And you add uh, your finger to the 4th fret on the G string and your 4th fret on the high E string, muting the B string in between. So our first chord is this, E major 7. And then it goes to uh, an F sharp minor 7, which you play on the 2nd fret with a bar chord. And you tag the 7th chord here, which is the 5th fret on the B string with the pinky. Move that same chord up to the G sharp position, uh, G sharp minor seven, tag, and then it goes to an A major seven, which you play basically off of the fifth fret. And what this is, this is a chord that repeats a lot in the song. Uh, on the low E string, you play the fifth fret. You mute the A string. Um, on the D string, you play the fourth fret. On the B string, you play the 5th fret, and you add your pinky to the 6th fret on the B string, and it, it, or on the G string, I'm sorry, and you get this chord. Very pretty. Move that same chord up to the C position. Then you play a B7, which I only play on three strings. It's the... Uh, 7th fret on the low E, the 7th fret on the D string, and the 8th fret on the G string. It's a little three note cluster there. When you move up that same major 7th chord we played down here to the D position on the 10th fret. C sharp seven. Same chord I showed you before. And then we're going to play an E suspended chord here. The uh, open E string. One of the other strings on the uh, on the ninth fret, and then add your suspend suspended tag here. Like this. You're lazy, but. And then we're going to walk up, we're going to start with an A bar chord here, based on the A string on the 12th fret. Then one fret up, walk it up. And then we have a B7 flat 9, which we call the Hendrix chord in rock and roll. That chord sounds familiar, you've heard it in Purple Haze and Foxy Lady. It's up here in the B position, and that's the cycle. Um, it's a very linear song. It's the same thing over and over again. So we have uh, E major seven, F sharp minor seven, tag, G sharp minor seven, tag, A major seven, C major seven, B seven. D major 7, C sharp 7, E suspended, walk up to the final chord starting at the A position, E 7 flat 9, our Hendrix chord. Freedom 
76 by Wayne. 